George, we got work to do today, huh? Let's go get that cat. Come on. Go get that cat. Come on. Go get that cat. Morning, everybody. Happy Labor Day. And we do got some labor to do today. We've made a lot of progress so far on the uh, rig, and we want to see if we can keep the momentum going when it comes to electrical mechanical systems. Now, one of the big issues I've had on the, uh, on the rig is this window, the uh, driver's side window, does not operate, doesn't go up and down, nor does the air conditioner work. I think the air conditioning needs a charge on the low side of the uh, compressor there. Not a big deal. The thing I'm concerned about is because I don't have air conditioning and when I was running down the battery, I didn't want to risk having the vent blower fan running. So I just basically roast inside when I'm driving along. I can't put down the window. I can't put the air conditioning on. It doesn't work. I, well, now I could probably run the blower, no problem at all, at the vent and let some air in. But it's really uncomfortable. Now what's going on with the rig is that uh, I want to be able to solve that issue and have that window go up and down. Now, I'm thinking in the late 1980s, this coach is in 88, they started to make the child-proof windows. In other words, if you got an arm caught or a dog got its head caught in it, that window would reach a certain point going up for example uh, we would catch the child and then it would actually uh, a clutch would engage uh, a sort of sacrificial clutch would kick in and uh, it would stop the pressure on the window and that's by design within the motor housing so i want to try to see if i can uh, carefully pull the door panel off today and uh, check that motor out give a visual see what's going on It'd be really nice to be able to get that uh, window operational again, right? Now, of course, we do have the uh, broken wind wing window, which is not really a big deal. Uh, Auto glass place should be able to uh, put that in, no issue. Somebody had to, uh, the owner had to break the glass because he left his keys inside and locked it. So he had to open up that and then be able to unlock the, uh, get the door handle down there. Real genius, so. All right, so we're going to try to see if we can uh, carefully uh, pull this panel today. I don't know how difficult this is going to be. Obviously, we have the, uh, the decorative button covers here, so I want to try to be careful. I've got the uh, speakers in there, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, start getting into a removal mode here, and I'll demonstrate for you guys when I, uh, when I put the power on here. Put the key in the ignition. You can actually... You can hear the motor running. So what that tells me, since this, uh, since this gearing in this is very heavy, this, uh, this gear is metal. And it basically meets uh, metal, I think or a very stiff nylon is that this clutch is broken on the inside of the uh, motor but you can definitely hear it running in there which is a really good sign so i'm going to go ahead and start the uh, process of removing the panel here i also didn't want this uh, light this uh, entry light to burn the whole time that i'm doing this work so I went ahead and took a clamp and a block of wood and I have the uh, switch blocked on there so that the uh, light will be off. I uh, just don't want to burn it out. So, all right, on with the show. As I remove the hardware, I'm just keeping it in the uh, pocket. This thing has the uh, snaps that go on. You can see that. And they just uh, snap down on here and provide that little bit of uh, decorative pretty easy to take off not uh, not having any difficult difficulties they're all over the top and bottom I'm gonna have to go get my uh, uh, drill with the screwdriver on it and go ahead and uh, get these uh, screws out that are holding uh, you can see the little screws right there embedded within the uh, snap so 
Got a few more to get off. Um, like I said, I'm gathering all, everything, all the hardware to keep that in one place so it doesn't get lost. Remove the uh, door panel with that a lot of uh, difficulty. Here again, I'm making sure that I saved uh, saved all the hardware in the pocket. So just uh, just sit that aside. And uh, I'm gonna kind of uh, this is just adhesive dawn. There's not really much you can do to uh, save this plastic. This is more like a uh, moisture barrier here. But I really want to get down there and see that. Uh, take a look at that uh, motor. So this stuff I don't really care about too much. I can always kind of tack it in place again, uh, close that up. But right now I want to uh, check out the uh, motor here and try to see if I can see what's going on. Otherwise. Uh, See, that's the mechanism there. I should be able to uh, pull that out. Now, some of this is uh, riveted on to hold that into uh, to hold that into position. You can see some uh, metal there, and I don't I don't think that's ever a good sign when you see a lot of uh, metal flakes in there, for sure. Unless that's a it looks like maybe somebody attempted a repair before they've got the uh, looks like that's the motor mounted over there looks like maybe they uh, this is where the metal came from let me see if I'm able to reach that yeah I can feel the motor on the back here Let me, uh, let me turn the accessories on a minute and just confirm a few things. Put the keys in. Okay. Oh, sorry. I'm going to get fix this stick. Yeah. I'm pretty sure probably the clutch went out, that safety clutch that I was telling you about. So, next thing to do is try to see if we can. Uh, remove the uh, motor you can see it back there the mounting and it looks like it's got the three uh, quarter inch screws so obviously this is uh, this has been repaired and accessed before all right so let me go ahead and see if I can get that removed now I think you can get an idea it's a clutch problem by watching that turn so obviously we've lost our uh, clutch and this probably confirms my suspicions here on this uh, motor so we're going to go ahead and uh, disconnect it electrically pull the mo motor and we're going to get into the gearing here and see what's going on so you with me so far we've got the uh, motor pulled we think we've got a uh, clutch problem. I can feel the, uh, I can feel it turning there. So we're going to move, remove. It actually uses the mounting bolts to keep this closed, also. So we need to remove the one screw that's still holding it on here. And make sure to keep all of your uh, screws and everything. You don't want to go around scrambling later. Okay. Now we're going to take our screwdriver and uh, lift up here and this should be the uh, this should be the moment of truth and we're gonna have to remove a lot of this uh, a lot of this packing in here that's what I'm going to do now I'm going to get some paper towels and uh, start cleaning up these components here we're going to be repacking it with uh, lithium don't worry and getting that back into uh, position but we need to check and see what's going on inside Okay, I've removed the uh, the actuator gear off of the motor, and uh, luckily the teeth look very good on that. So we're getting closer to the problem. You'll see that's a very unusual shape on the back there, and that's shaped that way for a reason. And we're going to discuss the safety mechanism that's built into this. 
goodness knows how many uh, lives it may have saved dogs and kids okay so i'm going to keep uh keep pulling this apart here and uh get this cleaned out now down in here and i'm going to don't know if you can see that you have what looks looks like uh they were little balls in here that have totally worn away on the uh, three sides and they serve a definite uh they serve a definite pur purpose they're made of nylon and as this gear as this gear spins in here on those balls the balls lock it into the three positions that you can see one two three if something was to happen and something was caught in the window the force of the motor pushing the window up would shear off these nylon balls and pop the clutch and you would not have any more engagement and the window would not move but we have to pull this out clean it up and we've got to find a way to replace these three nylon safety balls that are in here now we're not going to be able to get the replacement nylon balls anymore that go in there so we're going to have to be a little ingenious and uh, find something that we can uh, purchase that's going to fit in there and hopefully act like a cut clutch but first i've obviously got some more cleanup work to do you can see what's left of the pieces of plastic but now that we've got that cleaned out you can see why having this ride in here with the uh, little balls down in the three areas would allow this gear let me get that off again it would allow this gear to grip enough to move the window up and down but it would those three nylon balls would sacrifice themselves if something got caught in the window this would turn right over top of them and destroy them which it did here so i'm thinking that something got caught in the window now we need to find something to replace the those balls in the three corners so when we mount it it'll fit in there good and it'll still do its job it may not have the safety features again but this is uh this is not for kids this rig so we're gonna have to go uh, figure out some inserts to put down there and that's going to take a little bit of time i broke out some of my hardware and i came to the determination that if i use a couple quarter or twenty hex nuts and I kind of uh, stack them up on top of each other and I put them in the three corners here that I should be able to reinsert this gear and it should be able should be enough room in here for these uh, there we go for these nuts to be able to fit into those indentations down the side so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. There's nothing that turns inside here, so I don't have to worry about where. This should hold up uh, very well within this ring. It's not like this is turning on the inside. The outside is turning. There's a worm gear here. But, uh, you know, getting, all we're doing is locking this into position so it doesn't turn, okay? We're overriding the basic uh, safety design feature of it. I have those uh, nuts in position. So next thing I'm going to do is try to uh, insert this into place and hope that uh, it fits snugly uh, and is not too uh, still still too big to uh, the nuts are too big on there. We'll see. Let's see if we can uh, get that carefully positioned. And already I've kicked up one of the. Uh, one of the nuts there let's see it looks good from that side so i've got to do a little repositioning over here and i knew this would be a little this would probably be the uh, trickiest part of the uh, operation here is getting this getting this seated so it, uh, Remove this and try again. Uh. Well, I'll tell you, it took a little bit of work, but you can see those are seated down there pretty good. Uh. 
try our fit for our top and uh, what we got to do yeah it's on there good what we got to do now is uh, screw this closed and uh, go give it a try make sure she's going to be uh, make sure she's going to be spinning good so uh, keep your fingers crossed all right let's give it a see let's give it a test see how smooth it sounds oh that's like silk nice huh all right now we got to go ahead and uh, remove the cover again and uh, grease it up this is just a uh, good multi-purpose grease lithium you want to load that up real good reduce our uh, friction as much as possible and I made sure also that I cleaned out all those old bits of nylon that were uh, broken off in there and there were plenty of them okay cap that up all right go and reinstall our uh, shield there and then all we have to do is uh, do the install again. Pop her back on, and she should be uh, she should be good to go. So keep your fingers crossed. Now it's just a matter of uh, reinstalling our bolts, and we should be. that on the right location which I think I do it's a little tricky working behind you just have to visualize the uh, mechanism and what you're doing this guy didn't exactly drill this holes per perfectly correctly but they were good enough so we'll go ahead and give that a good tighten we're gonna hook up our electricity and it's the moment of truth Fun little project, eh? But it's no good unless it uh, unless it works well. So here we go. Let's uh, turn our ignition on. Get a little power here. And there goes the window down. And up, guys, huh? How about that? Nice little battlefield repair job. Now I can actually get some air when I'm driving this uh, rig. I'm going to take the chance while I have this open to uh, get this track grease down here to make that go down up and down uh, easily. But uh, yeah, I'm very happy that now we have a uh, working window. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, apply some grease to the track down here. And uh, yeah, it should be pretty good. We'll, can, we'll start with the... Uh, reattachments and everything are you psyched are you happy yes hopefully you'll do a little better job than I do and uh, packing this grease just keep it off the glass is the main thing but you can see the uh, the rail here and don't forget the upper part too okay you got to work it in behind there okay clean my hands up and we'll uh we'll shoot that uh, shoot that up a couple times yeah that's really nice beautiful okay guys it helped uh, grease that track a little bit. All right. Now on to reassembly, and you've got to get your hands really clean again because you're going to be touching the uh, panels and everything. We're just going to reverse things. We're going to start over here, reinstalling the uh, speaker. And there are four ohm speakers. I don't know what the quality is going to mean for that, but. Uh, we shall see. I kind of prefer 8 ohm load, but we'll go ahead and uh, get this uh, uh, speaker base hooked up. 
Uh, actually, we'll put the panel on next, try to get some of this uh, plastic back up into position. We'll use a little uh, spray adhesive and see if that's going to uh, see if that's going to do the trick. I like to use the uh, Loctite spray adhesive. Try to keep it off the glass. Make sure your window is in an up position. So keep this uh, okay. This will keep this locked into position. All right, real good. That's exactly what I want. It's not perfect here. I'm going to go get some uh, tape and now try to close this seam here. I'm going to go get some duct tape. gonna do stuff do it the right way don't do it halfway All right. someday uh, somebody will probably have this open again and I wouldn't want to have my ears burning red when they talk about the sloppiness that they found inside All right do a job large or small. Do it right or not at all. Alright, so that's pretty darn good. I'm going to do a little more around here, but I'm satisfied. Might as well clean the uh, panel while we're at it. That water is filthy. Are you kidding me? Whew. A lot of times what you think is uh, sun fading is actually filthy with dirt. So this thing, uh, this thing cleaned up amazingly well. So I wasn't going to do this job without taking a chance to uh, clean up the panel. So on to the install. Panels back on. All we got to do is pop on these uh, little finish nibs here. And we're ready to call this project a wrap. We need to get some more door handle trim to pull here. I think that's a pretty generic RV item. Put up all of our snaps for the pride of. Uh, Coachman Corporation of Elkhart, Indiana. Beautiful red velour. <laughs> what a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> there we go. Let's put that in there. A couple more to go on. And there we go. Everything's all washed up. Everything's all good to go. So we're going to have a few final words to say on wrapping up the job. There she is, the happy camper, hey huh? Hey now, huh? <laughs> Try that a couple times. We're back in business. Smooth as silk. One thing we have to secure is some new trim hardware. 
which is uh, like I said pretty generic but other than that this thing was filthy wasn't it it cleaned up really yeah. beautifully cleaned up nicely with the machine <sighs> all right excellent so we're gonna wrap it up today and uh, thank Missy Jen for coming out for the uh, for the cheese shot there it's been my pleasure all right honey so just a few final words and we're done okay guys that's gonna wrap it up today for the uh, power window repair on the uh, driver's side and uh, yeah the four dollar solution worked out good i had to buy some uh, some quarter 20 nuts but it was all good i need them anyway remember the only thing we did was kind of override the uh, child proof uh, interlock there that uh, is a sacrificial piece of plastic in case something gets caught in the window if something gets caught in the window now it's a goner <laughs> thanks so much for being along everybody if you like what you saw in this repair video give me a thumbs up give a share and your comments i'd love to hear them thanks so much for being along everybody